Yo, what's going on guys? The whole reason why this build actually works and carries super hard is because Master Yi normally takes Ignite to win Scuttle fights and Ignite is a perfect way for proccing Lethal Tempo. If you go to fight somebody on Master Yi, you obviously want to have your Keystone working, but as you hit them, you have to wait a second and a half with the kick in and then you get that extra juicy attack speed. Waiting a second and a half sometimes can be too long to where you don't get your R resets or you don't have enough damage to kill them before they get away or they just beat you in the one versus one if they have high burst. But with Ignite, by just igniting them, and let's say you then you run them down and get into melee, you already have your lethal tempo up. Plus, Ignite double applies it. To apply lethal tempo, after you hit them once, it, it applies in 1.5 seconds, and then if you hit them again, it extends its duration for 3 seconds. So Ignite does both parts of that, uh, as you can see here. So we ignite it, you see the lethal tempo, and then it resets it up back up for an extra three seconds. That's the reason why I wanna show you guys this build. Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a very interesting master carry build that has potentially the highest damage output out of any master Yi build in the game. And that is by abusing lethal tempo. For the rest of our runs, we have Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Eyeball, and Ravenous. But the whole point of abusing the lethal tempo is it completely uncaps your attack speed. And that's huge. While it's active, your attack speed's on cap, your R gives you a bunch of bonus attack speed, a lot of the items you're building are giving you a bunch of bonus attack speed, but your attack speed can only get up to a max on any champion, generally to 2.5. So even if we stack full attack speed items, you're not getting that benefit necessarily unless you have Hellblades or Lethal Tempo, and Hellblades is only your first three autos. And uh, as you've already seen, Ignite is a very nifty tool for pre-procking your Lethal Tempo since after a second and a half since you hit someone, that's how it procs. So you can pre-proc it with Ignite, so that way when you do go in, it's already ready and warmed up for you. And that's what I'm gonna be trying to show you guys today. We're gonna get our E level two. We're up against a Lilia. I think this is actually a really good matchup for Master Yi, especially uh, if you can build a lead or if she doesn't get super far ahead on you. You can gap close on her really well. It's a big reason why people lower than diamond really shouldn't be playing lilia in my opinion just seems like a mistake the champion is she doesn't usually have damage to one shot people in the jungle i think she's actually a decent top laner but as a jungler she just seems really lackluster you don't need your w until level four you might as well get another point in your q we're, we're full health haven't blown a refill you're gonna kind of kill two raptors early here your Q can't hit the whole camp anyways. So it's all right to swing down the little ones a bit. You don't have to kill them only with your Qs. That's not realistic. Bot lane died so far. It's to be expected against the Nautilus Kai, so they have a lot of engage. A lot of all-in damage output. Not lands the hook. Bane used her heal. Yeah, there's just no way you can save her though. The Nautilus base damage on its own. Super high early game you go ahead and do a full clear mastery's full clear is actually faster than something like a skarner or a uh, kha'zix full clear champions like kha'zix generally don't do a full clear if they want scuttle here our full clear was nearly a 315 with a leash which is pretty damn good for master you still have double refill full hp we have w now uh hey lilia we, I don't think we can really fight her though, because she's on her five Prant stacks. If she didn't have five, we could definitely fight it. Me and her are tied in CS. Yeah, she skipped a camp to get through that early. I'm not here to steal any minions, just getting them low for her to shove. I don't want Zed rotating on me for this scuttle fight. She, like I said, she'll be able to crush Lilia if she doesn't have the Prant stacks. She has five Prants. Doesn't matter what champion you are, you're not really going to be able to catch her. She must not be coming for this one. I'm gonna flick on my E. I'm gonna save my Q. It's your only real gap closer tool for staying on top of people. I'll hold on to it. Looks like she is top side. We could play into her golem since she farmed towards top side. She has blue buff. That means she started red buff. Probably took golems level two. Coming behind Kaisa. Probably not gonna be able to kill her. Oh, ooh. We got it, nice. I did Q early, I only did it because I figured she was gonna flash and we meditated that last turret shot. 
once again when you're helping teammates push waves try not to steal the minions try just try to get the minions low if you just get them low your teammates won't really get mad at you and i've never had even people who are belligerent and possibly mentally ill they've never rage quit on me for helping them shove the wave especially when you're supposed to but i have had people rage quit on me for actually last hitting the minion from them so avoid the last hitting the minion from them and you'll be good to go you may, you may be wondering when you should back it really just depends since we're full health oh man this looks since we're full health there's no point right now we still have double refill auto attack QB set we are pretty fed so first back berserker greaves would be a good option be a very good option uh, right now there's just no point of backing i could probably hit level six with a full clear gank level six if you're far weaker than someone or you're sitting on an outrageous like full item buy purchase but right now in the jungle meta if you like i said if you are full hp and you're stronger than the enemy jungler it's fine to just farm till six Ooh, this game's gonna get out of hand really quick i think zed's gonna if he stays for that i'll stay because he'll use his shadow to push it and then you will have an escape tool but it looks like he's leaving Kelty's P TP's back. That's good. Hello Blades is obviously still really a great consistent option on Mastery, and so is Conqueror. I prefer Hello Blades over Conqueror right now. The only time I actually prefer Conqueror is if I'm duo with an Enchanter, like a Lulu or Tark or something like that. But true solo key Mastery, I think Hello Blades and Lethal Tempo is better generally than Conqueror is on Yi right now. We're gonna back it to tier two, so we'll be rushing for uh, shield bow first item. Level six, pre seven minutes, what you're shooting for. If you get at least one successful gank, push at least one wave of minions, you should be hitting level six for a seven minute mark. If you're hitting it later than seven minutes, seven minute 30, you need to adjust your path and adjust your play style because you're putting yourself really far behind. I'm coming down here. I think this is a cleanup. I'm gonna ignite him. I auto attack Q, kind of like as an auto resetter. Meditate that last turret shot, and we're good to go. We soak the first turret shot. It's better to not dodge the first one if you can't insta kill them. It's better to dodge the second or the third one because the turret does increased damage per shot against enemy champion over like five or ten seconds or whatever so the first one's gonna do normal damage the second one does 20 percent more the third one does 20 percent more so there that's why i soaked the first one and i waited got the resets run out of the turret range and meditate the last turret shot and you'll be good to go looks like zed got another kill uh He's going to be an, actually an issue for us. High burst champions are really annoying for Master Yi. We might have to get an early Sterix, like second item. If you're really fed and they don't have anyone fed, a lot of times you can get away with going Rage Blade second item just for the damage output. But gives a, this fed of a Zed. Especially because I didn't go plated Steel Cap, so I'm going to be really squishy against him. He's half health right now. Ooh. You're dead, bud. Ah, oh, she got the shutdown. I got the assists, but the minions finished him off before my damage actually connected. Oh, well. It is what it is. Pull it into the bush just in case the enemy jungler is waiting to steal it. It happens. Even if you're ahead of the enemy jungler, sometimes they do dumb stuff like that. You never know. Okay, Jarvan. He has no boots. We have boots. We're faster than him. We're moving 400 moving speed. He's moving 340. Ah, oh, this is worded, though. I think he just turned around and queued Urgot. Oh, he knocked me up. That sucks. All I, I didn't actually think that was a knockup. I was going to queue him to attach, but I don't like this play at all. I'm dead. 100%. I got caught in a weird spot. If anyone's flashing, dashing, anything like that, you just press Q and attach, but he actually knocked me out when I didn't think I was in his path there. That's really unfortunate. On the bright side, it was Lilia who got the gold, and I'll be able to slice her up 
really hard in team fights. So rather her get it than someone else like Zed. But that being said, Zed just got two kills. I'm gonna sell my refill, grab pickaxe, we'll run bot side. Yara's on a pretty low cooldown on Master Yi. Very, very low cooldown. It's already almost back up. Kais is low. She doesn't have tier two boots or even tier one, so I should be able to run her down. Whenever you're looking to gank, you're checking HP, mana, items, and a lot of items. You're also like checking the boots because that's a big part of if they can get away or not. Actually, I actually canceled an auto there. That was a good luck snare. Good job, Lux. I canceled an auto dodge a second shot. Oh my god, I was gonna queue to the minion. Zed actually got that. That's really unfortunate. Oh well, we're getting close to cracking. There's you can actually get some tanky items on Master Yi. Like Dead Man's isn't awful, and Randuin's is also decent as well. The enemies have some big AD damage champs. Really do like the Dead Man's. I don't see Randuin's on here. There it is. Randuin's is really good too. Can't quite afford Kraken yet. Our R is going to be back up soon. Darwin's kind of difficult to gank. Uh, he's pretty tanky. He's level, level 9 right now. I think I'll just stick to ganking bot for a bit. We'll path into this dragon. Red Smite will definitely help with fighting their Zed. If I Red Smite him, take 20% reduced damage from him. Two and a half seconds. Kind of like a little exhaust. Hopefully Lux gets out of there. Are they actually going to dive her for this? This is such... That's so greedy of Zed. He's going to get them all killed here. Got him. I meditated the Lilia damage. I think I even dodged a Kai'Sa auto in midair with my Q, so... So if you're wondering why Master is so artificially tanky, if, they, if they're throwing ranged attacks at you, like auto attacks or just ranged attacks in general, you can dodge it with your Q. So he ends up dodging a lot of damage and then obviously it's meditate frame for frame ability. Uh, reducing incoming damage by 60% even at level one per level. The damage reduction gets barely higher. That's why you max it last. It only goes up by like 2% when it already starts at 60. So the returns on it are outrageously low per level. Unlike your Q and E returns, which are very, very high. Hey, Nautilus. I have Lux here. I don't know if he knows that. I have tier 2 boots as well. I had to get to him in melee is the thing. That was a mistake. I'm dead, 100%. I didn't realize they were all here. I knew it was a mistake when Nautilus turned around for Nautilus, but I guess he turned around because he had his two teammates there. So it was actually a bait. I didn't have the damage to finish off Jarvan because I don't have my Kraken. I'll have the damage here shortly though. Like I said, if they do have a really bursty champion like their Zed, a lot of times I like to go Steric second in those cases and then get Rage Blade because there's no point having Rage Blade if you die in a half a second. Sterics will keep us alive. It's easily one of the top three strongest items in the game. In order, I'd say the strongest items in League this season. Bear in mind there are many, but in order, I'd say the strongest are Gore Drinker, uh, Shield Bow, then Sterics. Those are kind of S plus tier. Any other strong items at highest is S tier. You don't really want to be given buffs away to your teammates on Master Yi. He's a very gold hungry, experience hungry champion. We already have our ward down. Really going in for this. Oh, that's not good. That was actually really unfortunate. I knew Jarvan was in the area. I went for it anyways. The Nautilus R cucked me pretty good. 
tucked me really, really hard. Keeps you knocked up for a long time. I'll CC for four seconds. That's so unfortunate. Still definitely winnable. All we need is one good team fight. Or even one good pick. I should have just waited. Since not all, since Jarvan was in the area, they were likely to try to dive vein. If I would have waited for them to use their abilities on her underneath turret, I could have gotten a triple super easily. Just being impatient. If you're going to play a champion like Master or Shivana, you got to be able to read out those uh, dives that the enemies are going for, and that's when you... That's when you really differentiate yourself and uh, carry your games a bit better. You don't want to be dying this much, though. With how fast you can clear your camps, dying this much is not great. That is okay, though. Like I said, I still think we can carry this. You, I think you can dodge Nautilus R if you Q on Master Yi, but I think you have to time it. I think it still follows you if you just like Q on something far away. But if it's like about to hit you and then you Q, I'm pretty sure you dodge it. You can't obviously can't dodge it with your meditate. I'll just cancel your meditate. Keep on scaling. So that's top side, he's got two full items. I'll be going bot here shortly. Oh man, Lux is going in deep. Uh, Lilia has two Prant stacks, I should be able to kill her. I don't know if this is warded or what. Don't think it is. All right, we're going in. We got our resets as well. I would not have done that, Lilia. Oh, I thought she was going to turn and hit me, so I meditated. That's all right, though. We got two kills, and we got a shutdown. I think we can carry this, even if my teammates are trying to sur surrender on me. I think it's very carryable. Just got to stay alive and let them engage on my teammates, and then I kind of go in and kill everybody. I think Zed's probably going to come bot, try to pick the vein. Someone's going to come bot, try to pick this. I can hover nearby. Oh, it's just actually awarded. No way. It may not come now. I'll just go get back and get my Sterex, I guess. Sterex is really dang good, brah. Now that we have Sterex, we want to push for Wits End or Rage Blade. They don't have that much AP. I think Rage Blade would be better. Could be giving a higher value. Man going all in, gets sniped down by the Kaisa. Does she have Collector? Nope. She just hit a big crit at the end. That last auto, right when the Lux double shielded. The vein as well. My control word's still up, so I've got a double. I'm gonna play around my control word already laid. If someone steps up for it, they're gonna get butchered. I'm gonna knock that away, and I'm gonna chill. We're gonna chill and wait. Sometimes you gotta let the enemies show up to you. I figured they would come for the minion wave. I guess they're grouping for Herald though. Weird. Weird option. Man's killing those minions so slow that they saw me. Just taking her sweet time. <clears throat> they're obviously on Herald right now. I'm not using my E, I'm just saving it, just in case. Just in case that does something like this. Red smited him, he's a goner. Attached to Lilia. And that is, oh, that was my Penta, dude! That was my Penta, no! I think Nautilus ignited me, yeah. 
I was wondering because I, I started taking I got hill cutted Yeah, that's what I'm talking about though, man lethal tempo master you once it takes all The attack speed is absurd. We were tank tanking their whole team Like legit the Zed Ardus, the Jarvan Ardus. Looks like his R damage missed because I was probably in my Q. Kaisa was trying to focus me. She's having trouble because of my Q resets. Your non-ultimate abilities get 70% 7, 7 of their cooldown reduced when you get kills or assists when you're on your R. I guess you don't even have to be on your R. It's just passively. Got Rage Blade. We just took the third dragon. Soul's going to be delayed for them now. And I'll go for... Honestly, I'm feeling the Bork. I'm feeling it, dude. They don't have that. They have Triple Ignite, but they haven't actually built Executioners or anything like that yet. Gonna be so strong here. Lux doing uh, Lux things, to say the least. The enemies are gonna push for Baron, most likely, since they just killed two of my teammates. Uh, Zed's probably going for my blue. They're gonna, they, it looks like they're coming to me. This is weird. This is warded. I'm dead. That's unfortunate. At least we, at least Nautilus got the shot down and not someone else. And then Urgot got the Nautilus. So it's a one for one. But ideally, we don't want to be dying like that. Lilia burned her R though, which really sucks for us. They're starting to throw. They think just because I'm dead, my team can't fight them. <laughs> that well does Zed get cc'd or did he just poop his pants he jumped in and got insta erased jarvan warmed up the turret form the turret shot jarvan a few times so the turret was doing like 200 percent damage to the zed as long as i don't just get like randomly lilia or we should be able to survive these team fights, but if she sleeps me, it's like a three or four second sleep, then it's kind of over for us. Yeah, the team's still like one, nine, two, three, two, five, two, five. <laughs> Master you can carry as a team, even if they're all struggling. And I've been carrying enough to where my teammates are kind of catching back up. They can start helping more. Why does it seem like they have so many wards? I gotta go bot. Oh, see, it ain't even soloed her. That's what I'm talking about, man. You won't do it, Zed. He ain't gonna do it. He knows what's gonna happen. I have Sterics and he doesn't. It's a Sterics stiff. <laughs> it's actually Sterics stiff. Don't know if this is worded. I'm really hoping it's not. She's dead. I'm gonna meditate to prolong my R. It puts your R in pause mode. There's just no one coming bot right now. So my R is gonna get wasted. Oh well. Trying to pull these away from Jarvan's vision so he just suspects Vayne's by herself. This isn't warded. He just used his Q. Might actually be able to kill him. Nope. Yeah, I need Vayne to push. Mastery plays a lot like an Evelyn in the late game. If you're not 5v5ing, you'll just guard someone who's on a split and then the enemies waste their gap closer to get to them. You just slice them up like this. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. He actually got away off of... Off of ulting the vein. It separated me since I had the Q to get to him. He was too far away. Why is Kaisa chasing me? Because this is warded. Bro, they have so many random pink words on the map. Like in really deep forward places. Jarvan can't split versus me. It's hard to run a split pushing champion when the enemy team has a master Yi, because if it does go late game or if Yi does get fed, he can match up uh, like a Fiora or a Trindomir. He can honestly kind of match a Jax too if once he has QSS. I 
I'm gonna push for this scuttle. They might be going for a kale right now. Wow, what do you know, another ward? Isn't that exciting? Yeah, Kale's gonna get like four manned up there. I think me and Zed both know what's gonna happen here. If he pulls some some funny business. Kale's dead. I think we can still win 4v5 if the enemies waste their stuff on Vayne. Or waste stuff on my teammates in general. <laughs> they have to focus literally everything on me or they're all gonna die from my lethal tempo rage blade. You can also get Titanic Hydra with this build. It works really well. Yeah, I just can't move. That's unfortunate. Lily R plus Nautilus R. I, I just can't outplay that, man. CC for three seconds. I'm gonna have to get a, a QSS after I get my Bork. We did still get the dragon. Hopefully they don't get Baron off of it. They most likely will. Baron is a likely outcome here. For the enemies. It's kind of risky for us to step up for it. <laughs> that word though. The enemies are kind of low. Kel might be able to do something since Nautilus isn't there. Finally get my Bork. It's going to make a, a huge damage difference with the lethal tempo and my passive and rage blade. I'll slice through the Jarvan and Nautilus like butter. Hot butt. A hot knife going through butter. <sighs> One of those videos where it's like the 10 million degree knife versus a plastic toy or the knife versus bread. Those type of videos. <laughs> It's, it's not even it's just a hot knife. It's like a It's like a 400 degree knife versus X XYZ Maybe a thousand degrees. I don't know That's what's about to happen here. We're gonna do some role-playing You know if Kel would just R me this would be very easy if they can't kill me on her R, they lose. And they can't hurt you when you're on your R, they can only CC you. I'm waiting for them to walk into me. Or for them to start their dive so I can follow up. Kind of like a fiddlesticks hiding off in the shadows. Oh, Zed's way out of position. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nautilus is in that bush. Ah, oh, they killed me, shit. That's unfortunate. At this point, we really want QSS. Can't quite afford it. QSS will make a huge difference. Lily R or Nautilus passive. I don't think we have a chance in a team fight. Because if Kel R's me again, so what are they going to do?
do, 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 do. Don't do it, Vane. Don't even think about it. Yeah, she was thinking about it. Dragon's coming up. It's dragon time, baby. This isn't warded either. I need Kale to come press her button on me. There we go. There it is. There she is. And that is GG's well played. Lethal Tempo Master, you can't be stopped. They're, they're actually not going to surrender after that. There's no way. They have to, right? They're really going to play this out. Like I said, doesn't want to surrender. He's 16 and 6. He wants to keep going, boys. He doesn't want to throw in the towel. That's all right. We'll accommodate them. Try to put them out of their misery. Not stepping up. All we have to do is wait for my R to be back up. And then same thing all over again. I can use these to block off Nautilus hook. You can't really hook me through those. And they're shoving up mid. I guess they're trying to find one of us out of position. Could happen. We're sitting on three dragons. It's kind of funny. Three ocean dragons. That's going to be a lot of passive HP. I, it's not really useful for me. It's more useful for people who don't have life still. And it's time to get our QSS. It is time. Once we have that, we should be... Pretty gosh darn unkillable, I'd say. Sylvamir's Dawn, 300 health. Yeah, I think we'll get Sylvamir Dawn. I don't really need damage. All I need is attack speed and my E true damage. 146 true damage per auto attack. Kind of insane. It does scale off of AD. That's interesting. Should have enough as is with the Rage Blade double applying and on my passive. They're basically every two auto attacks are getting hit by it like four or five times We can take this really really quick I'll use my E I can tank it and still do close to full damage because of my E Yep I have my silver mirror just dawn as well for this fight Nautilus is in that bush I wouldn't have done that, bud. We got Kel Army, boys. There we go. She's a goner. We got a runner. We got a runner. Where's she going? Is she going to get away? I don't think so. I'm going to time out my R. She's a goner. And that, my friends, is how you carry your team, even when they're hard losing lanes, with Lethal Tempo Master Yi Jungle. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.